All right, today's guitar lesson is gonna be on Looking for a Friend by Cody Jinks. We're gonna be playing this song with the capo on the first fret. I'm gonna show you how to play it with an E, an A, and a B chord. And that's the main way I'm gonna show it. And then I'll also show you how to play it with the capo on the third fret. So you don't have to play this B chord if you don't want. But we're gonna go through it like this because that sounds the most like the recording. So that's what I'm gonna focus on for you. So we'll go ahead and zoom in real quick and get you learning this. Okay, we're gonna start the song on the E chord. So I'll go ahead and play through the intro for you. pattern here is going to be down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So here's what that looks like a little bit slower. And here on this E chord, what I'm doing is just if you want to add this little bit of extra in there, you can do that, and it's just on the third string. We're just adding our fourth finger in there. That gives it a little bit of extra. So that's the intro for you. Then we're going to start on the verse. The verse is going to start out the same way. Same strumming pattern, so I'll play through the verse for you. So all we're doing is E, A, and B. And there's a few different ways you can play the B. So right here I'm just playing it with, trying to just hit these three strings, the fifth, fourth, and third. You can also play it, if you want to hit all the strings, you can hit, you can add in your third, fourth finger down here and all of these are going to be on the same fret. So. so you're essentially just moving your A, these fingers, up to the same fret and adding the bar here. The other way you can play it is you can do a bar with your fourth finger on that fret. So just kind of play around, see which one you like doing best, and just know you have those options, whatever one's easier for you. So that's the, the verse. So it repeats that same progression twice and then goes into the chorus. So for the chorus, we're going to start on the B chord. So I'll play through that for you. So here's the chorus. end on that also. 
chorus starts on the B and ends on the B. And that's everything for the song. So let me, I'm not sure if I played that chorus right. And I go down the road back again. It's all remembered where I've been and I ain't changed. I think I play it right. But that's how that goes. So I'll go ahead and play through the intro, verse, and chorus for you one more time straight through, and then I'll show you how to play it if we're going to play it with the capo on the third fret. So here we go. Sorry about that. Start over on the intro. Okay, so that's all there is for the song. If we want to play that with the capo on the third fret, anything we played as an E, we're going to play with a, as a D. The A's, we're going to play as a G. And the B's, we're going to play as an A. So here's what that intro strumming pattern would look like. doing is hammering on up in here with the fourth finger and then taking it back off. So I'll go ahead and play through verse real quick and chorus straight through.
All right, hopefully that was helpful to you. Please let me know if there's anything else that you're having trouble with on this song and we'll get it figured out for you. Thanks so much.